All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this Athenian Stranger tutorial video where today we are going to learn how to rotate an entire figure about a fixed point. So in this example, we're asked to rotate triangle ABC 75 degrees counterclockwise about point D. So a counterclockwise rotation would look like this. And what we're going to do is connect points D and A and draw a line segment like this. Passing through point A, point D. And now we want to find out what 75 degrees looks like. So take your protractor and center this little hole here over point D and make sure that your guideline is centered directly on top of the line segment that you just drew. Take your time with this. This is where the error typically gets introduced. Okay, so now I'm going to locate 75 degrees right here. Put a little dot right there. And now I'm going to connect D to that dot. Use a light line here. And now I've constructed a 75 degree angle. I'm not going to write 75 here because I'm going to do this multiple times. So now what we do is take our compass and set the distance between the tip and the pencil from D to A, like this. Now we're going to rotate an arc passing through A and through the other leg of our angle. This point right here will be point A prime. Okay, point A prime has been found. And now we need to find point B prime. So what we're going to do is draw a line passing through D and B. Like this. And we are once again going to measure off 75 degrees by centering the point, the circle of our protractor above that point D. And we're going to be very careful to line up that segment we just drew with our guide mark right here. And now I'm going to find 75 degrees again, put a dot right there, and connect D to that dot. Okay. And now I'll take my protractor or my compass and position the pointing end at D. And I'll extend the radius of the compass out until the pencil is on point B. And I will rotate an arc. Okay. See, I need to extend that line out a little bit more. So you take your protractor, extend that line out if you need to. There. So where these intersect is point B prime. Finally, point C. I'm going to connect D to C. Just like that. And now I'm going to measure off 75 degrees. There's 75 right there. We'll connect those points. And then I will take my compass and change the compass length from D to C. Okay, and now I'm going to rotate my arc straight through like this. And I see where they intersect right here that will be C prime. Okay, and now what I can do is connect all these dots. Each dot was rotated 75 degrees, so that means the whole figure was rotated 75 degrees. Okay. 
then we'll color it in because that's the fun part. So this uh, brings up a point of, if you want to check and make sure that you did this correctly, you need to visually inspect and see, does it appear that the shape that you drew looks identical to the shape that existed before, only rotated? In our example, we actually had a right angle, so if we spin this figure around, we should see a right angle appearing here. So if I, if I center this point like this, and I put a dot at 90 degrees, I should be able to extend C prime through that dot, and it should pass right along the line I drew. Okay, good. Same. So that's a 90 degree angle right here. And now we can color in our shape. And what we've demonstrated here is the principle of isometry. I-S-O-M-E-T-R-Y. That is that these two figures are isometric. All of their angles and all of their lengths are identical. The shapes are congruent. So what that means is that rotation is an isometric transformation. It's a rigid transformation that preserves all of the dimensions and angles of the original image, as we have shown here. So that is how you rotate an entire figure about a fixed point.